According to the gate control theory of pain, the nociceptive fibers make two connections. The first one is to the second order neuron, and the second one is to the interneuron. The effect of the impulses going up the nociceptive fibers on the second order neuron is excitatory. However, the impulses going in the nociceptive fibers that reaching the interneuron is inhibitory. Since the interneuron is inhibitory on the effect of the nociceptive fiber on the second order neuron, the net effect of the impulses running up the nociceptive fibers to the interneuron is to disinhibit the excitatory stimulation of the second order neuron by the nociceptive fibers. So basically the interneuron here reinforces the stimulation of the second order neuron by the nociceptive fibers. However, the scenario changes when there is tactile stimulation. The tactile sensation that is transmitted as neural impulses in the A-beta fibers make two connections in the spinal cord. The main one is to the second order neuron. And the secondary connection is to the interneuron. However, both these stimulations are excitatory. This means that the interneuron, which is an inhibitory neuron, gets excited by the tactile sensation. This leads to the interneuron inhibiting the nociceptive impulses more. So that is the essence of gate control theory, that the nociceptive fibers are inhibited by the impulses coming in the neurons transmitting the tactile sensation through the interneuron. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you and wishing you a good day.